Today. Uh, my name is Nick Combs. I'm the events manager of graduation at Imperial College London. 
uh, and I'm probably going to be one of many, many people to either welcome you to or welcome you back to today's ceremony. Um, I'm a bit of a boring warm-up act, just to give you a few pieces of housekeeping arrangements information about what's going to happen. In just a few moments' time, I'm going to ask you all to politely rise as our procession enters uh, the arena. Um, and at that point, after you'll be in the safe hands of our, uh, our dignitaries on the stage with us here, and also our musical performers. Um, now, when the ceremony starts, there's a few pieces of information I've got for our graduates at the moment. Good afternoon, graduates. Earlier today, you would have been to the Royal Geographical Society, or DOS at six here, at the Royal Albert Hall to collect your ticket for today's ceremony. If I could just please ask you to take a few seconds just to please ensure that you are sat in the actual seat that you've been allocated. You're not sat to a friend or someone you really like. You're actually sat in the order that we genuinely need to do. It's imperative for the ceremony. If you want to move around now, that's great. This is the best part of the honesty. Now, now you're all in order, you'll be in the safe hands of our registry team who will ask you to process and you'll be, stern, uh, you'll be greeted here by members of our registry who will be checking your names. They're going to do that a few times just to make sure we've got you all in right order. And then you'll be asked to make your way up onto the stage, your name will be read, and then you'll be congratulated on your award by the President, Provost or Chair of Council. And then you'll make your way down on the steps on the right hand side of the stage as you look at it. And then we'll just ask you then to take uh, uh, a lap of honour as such around the arena and back to the same seat that you're sat in at the moment. When the students are processing around uh, the arena, uh, we just please ask everybody else just to be aware of photography. Just trying to think if any guests are taking any photographs. You might be trying to capture a special moment, but please don't try to take that away from someone else who might be catching that special moment as well. Um, we're anticipating that today's ceremony is going to last and reach about an hour and 45 minutes. And then at the conclusion of the ceremony, you'll be, um, you'll be asked to stand to rise again for the national anthem. Uh, and then you'll be asked to follow out in, the, uh, in order after our procession as well. Um, again, I wish you a wonderful day of celebration and if I could now ask you to all please stand for the procession. Welcome. President, family, honoured guests, 
soon to be graduates and recently started doctors. It's my sincere pleasure and privilege to welcome you as union president to Commemoration Day 2019. It is a bit of a cliche, but it does feel like only yesterday we were all starting our courses, and I think it does go to show how quickly time passes when you're under a lot of pressure. We're here today not only to recognize the outstanding academic achievement of graduates of this university, but also to acknowledge achievement outside the classroom, in sport, in art, in music, those communities that are built so strong in the Imperial College School of Medicine, in the commitment to, the, the willingness to volunteer in the community, and the diversity of culture that we enjoy at Imperial, the diversity of ideas that we enjoy at Imperial. As graduates from this place, we have an immense potential to contribute to wider society, and with that comes a burden of expectation. We're all equal parts inspiration and apprehension on a day like today. And I think it's important to, to reflect on those who, who came before us. And so, uh, starting with uh, Prince Albert, who, with the proceeds of the exhibition of 1851, funded many of the institutions that now adorn South Kensington, a multifaceted community of both science and art, uh, which now you know, provides new drugs for cancer treatment, rovers that, that sort of, uh, cross the surface of Mars, probes that visit uh, planets across the solar system, we also recall a particular visit of uh, King George and Queen Elizabeth in 1945 in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of the Royal College of Chemistry, uh, which was a forerunner uh, to Imperial. Uh, while I'm not always one for quoting royals, I think uh, this is uh, something that's, that's important that can stick with us. Regard your knowledge and your skill in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. It's with this in mind, from King George, that I'd like us to, to move forward. We stand on the shoulders of giants now, just as in future, our shoulders will be those on which others stand. We want to make change in the world, contribute new ideas, new knowledge, but always for the benefit of mankind. And I don't think that message is lost on, on those of you in front of me today. Congratulations, and the very best of luck. Members of court and council, colleagues, distinguished guests, honorees, graduates, families, and friends. It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2019. Graduates, congratulations. We are here to celebrate your accomplishments. We applaud your many talents, and we wish you well in all that awaits you. You have worked hard at your studies, and you have excelled. You have also excelled outside the lecture halls and laboratories. You are scholars as well as practitioners. You are talented inventors, entrepreneurs, musicians, dancers, actors, singers, and athletes. And you are volunteers who gave your valuable time to help others. It is important to recognize those whose support was essential during your time at Imperial. Your families and friends are always there when you need them. They share in your triumphs and they bring additional joy to today's celebration. So let's give them our thanks. The academics sitting behind me and many others have shared their knowledge, sparked your curiosity, and broadened your horizons. They are dedicated researchers and educators, the best in their fields. They have challenged and inspired you they have shown you the importance of having high standards for everything you do. Let's thank them as well. <clears throat> Graduates, you are accomplished scholars, medics, scientists. The world needs people like you with your intelligence, your passion, and your commitment to learning you will contribute greatly to society. I hope that among the many things you will remember about Imperial, 
you will look back on the valuable experiences you had working with, listening to, learning from, and spending time with others. Whether it was students in your course, or friends from societies or residences, or staff who you got to know, sharing ideas and building lasting relationships will be valuable lifelong assets. I hope that you leave Imperial with a distinct sense of the value of community. Imperial College London is an important community and it will always be part of who you are. I like something I recently heard in France about cafe culture and encyclopedias. For both, you enter with a purpose and then you lose yourself to other things. We have all enjoyed the opportunity to lose ourselves in unexpected conversations. We lose track of the time <coughs> and we learn and understand a great deal. We may also have stumbled upon a new book while browsing in the library or a bookshop. Some of us are old enough to remember hefting encyclopedias to a table to search for something, only to find other entries that enthralled us. Now, perhaps too often, the cafe is just a place to get a takeaway coffee or sit with your laptop and work alone. And the encyclopedia is supplanted by the internet search. You can still lose yourself in a trail of discovery. However, you may not have that same experience of chance findings. Serendipity has perhaps become too algorithmic. Too often today, when we do sit together over a meal or coffee, we are distracted by our phones. On the one hand, they provide instantaneous access to so much information. It is incredible that in a moment's notice, you can know the answer to the question, who led the uprising against the occupying Romans in 60 AD, Boudica? Or how long will it take the JUICE mission to get to Jupiter? Seven and a half years. Our conversations are enriched by such information. We can know a lot. On the other hand, phones sometimes divert our attention from the people around us. To move from information to understanding, we need to look up from our phones and get to know each other. We need to recapture our sense of community. There is much that divides the world today. We need people like you to take time to listen to and better understand one another if we are to mend these divides. I hope that as you leave this wonderful university with friends, mentors, and learning around every corner, you will take your experience and your wisdom into many new relationships and new communities. In doing so, you will help make the world a better place. Thank you. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Medicine. The names will be announced by Professor Terry Tetley, Professor of Lung Cell Biology, Professor Allison McGregor, Professor of Musculoskeletal Biodynamics, Mr. Martin Lupton, Vice Dean for Education of the Faculty of Medicine, and Professor Myra McClure, Professor of Retrovirology. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I please request the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Faculty of Medicine, first degrees of the university, bachelors of medicine. Anissa Suraya 
Binti Abrazak. Rami Abbas. Khadiza Abdul. Awarded the NHLI Outstanding Achievement Prize in Cardiovascular Sciences, Ashik Abdul Kader. <laughs> Biyasa Abu El Ghassim. Michael Afnan. Eodele Agbabiaka. Harun Ahmad, Hanad Ahmed, Kanwal Ahmed, Umar Ahmed, Iyino Lua Aina, Rafiula Akbazar, Mosin Akhtar, <coughs> Molly Aldis, Arian Alexopoulos, Fatima Ali, Suleiman Ali, Taz Taznim Ali. The Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Usama Ali. <laughs> Mohammed Allah. Joseph Allen, Dylan Armin, Ibrahim Armin, Ismail Anwar, David Arianayagam, Paripanchan Aral Nanthi, Shad Asinger. Tarun Atra, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best health management performance on the BSc Management Programme and the Timothy Heyman Memorial Prize. Yuri Ong. <laughs> Aishwarya Avula. Grace Ayula. Ayomide Ayurinde, Neil Badiani, Barnabas John Baguli, Anamika Banerjee, Rishi Banerjee. Joao Barbosa Moreira da Silva. Sally Barker. Siddharth Bassetti. Awarded the David Lees Memorial Prize, Benjamin Bedo. Ayushi Bagava. Bertels, Radhika Biswas, Yasmin Biswas, Noah Blackmore, Anita Bellina, Joanna Bazonalo, Solange Bremer, Helena Brezov Yakova, Rhea Sophie Bromley, <laughs> Lara Budwig, Seth Bukhari, Joseph Bergen, Toby Byrne, Dominic Butcher. Zane Butt, Wen Yi Kai, Charlotte Caves, Adham Chakachiro,
Samruthi Chaka, Chloe Challen, awarded the Alan J. Stollo Prize, Patrick Chan. <laughs> Hannah Chang. Carlun Karen Chang. Catherine Chang. Awarded the Dudley Phillips Memorial Prize, Maria Karalambidis. Saif Chowdhury, awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Programme, Aisha Sadiqa Chowdhury. <laughs> Leah Chowan, Kei Yan Chung. Emily Ching, awarded the Joan Woodward Undergraduate Memorial Prize, Amruni Chaudhry. <laughs> Kardijo Munyath Chaudhry. <laughs> Faiz Chuktai. Thomas Henry Stephen Clark. Alexandra Compton. Soham Kumar. Toby Curtis McKenzie. Trishna Damania. Mai Yi Dang. Lydia Daniels, Minak Data, Aaron de la Cruz, Deepa Dodia, Lucy Dugard, Osbil Dumoncy. Mohammed Al Tahir, awarded the Dudley Prize and the Pharmacology Prize, Hussein Al Ghazali. <laughs> Maev Ali Hassan El Sadi, Richard Engel, Celine Siroso. Keen Evans Harvey, Soma Farag, Adila Farouk, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Luke Fessy. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Madeline Fisher. <laughs> Daniel Foran. Jerry Fung. Joshua Gates. Nicole Claire Gentles. Daniel George, Izzy Rebecca Giles, Aishwarya Gopi, Pallavi Govind, Marina Gray, Alistair Gregg, Olivia Groom. Harriet Groutsmith, Matthew Gunny, <laughs> Dhruv Gupta, Kevin Garung, 
Emily Hadder. Amara Hafaji. Udina Hafiz. Nida Hafiz. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best overall performance on the BSc Management Program and the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Program. Simran Halari. Ikra Hak. Rishabh Hari Harun. Emma Harrington. <laughs> Olivia Hartley. Wahim Hassan. Salma Hashim. Eva Maria Havelka. Jeremia Hawizi. Yasmin Hazemi Jabeli. <laughs> Awarded the Pereira Prize, Freya Hepworth Lloyd. <laughs> Alex Hong, Jake Hudson, Daniel Huntington. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Programme, Parisa Marham Hussein. <laughs> Zara Hussein. Kelvin Idialu Ikato. Sarah Imani Masule. Sivani in Paraj. Kash Iqbal. Yvette Jaff. Anmol Jasleen Kaur Jaiswal. Nicole Ellen James. Wasim Jamshaid, Faria Jam, Imran Karim Jan Mohammed, Jake Jassik, Dominic Jelf, Connor Jenkins, Jess Jobson. Angeline Rose Jogi. Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Agnes Johnson. <laughs> Kieran Johnston. Joseph Rex Jude Johnson. Changavi Kajimuan. Orvi Kumram Chandani. Pavandeep Kaur. Afshan Khan. Amina Ahmed Khan. Anas Khan. Caitlin Khan, Mayreen Khan, Naira Khan, Marianne Kankara, Amulya Kartri, Harry Kingsley Smith. Awarded the Computational Medicine Prize, the Society for for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award and the Thomas Henry Green Prize. Ina Ko.
Me here, Sunil Kohe. Jung Moses Ku. Kola Korolchuk. Machi Krasinski. Anushtri Kucheria. Kanha Kukreti. Intercalated Degree Award from the International Child Health Group, Ella Kuma. <laughs> Ayush Kulnaresta. Michelle Kunk. Jessica Robin Law. Dong Yun Lee. Grace Fern Lee. Christopher Little, Chen Liu, Rachel Loy, Alistair Ludley, Mohammed Mahmoud, Mustafa Majid, Vlad Makiv, Vernuganan Manika Vazagar, Bishman Manivanan, Simran Man, Laura Mansur, Neha Maksud, Alejandra Martin Segura, Manahal Matin, Anish Thumpunkal Matthew, Eleanor Marie McClure, Jordan McDonough, Aisha McHale, Fred Mears, Viola Mendoza, Emily Miles, awarded the British Society for Immunology Prize and the Thomas Scurry Prize, Beth Moira Mitchell. <laughs> awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Omar Mohammed. <laughs> Nora Abdul Mohammed. Josephine Molière. Mark Monaghan, Uruza Mukin, Francesca Morelli, Ellen Morris, Hannah Mugal, Haya Mulhan, Rida Mumtaz, Farouk Munshi, Sharon Murali Tharam, Ludovic Musgrove, Nitish Natchiapa, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Rans Nadir. <laughs> Ashkan Najapur. Arjan Nagra, Shihab Dawa, James Nesbitt, Tejas Nekti, Hoi Lam Ng, Melissa Ng, Jenny Wynn, Kuvanendra Nithara, Shonale Nuventan, Nana Aquia Aniwa Nukako, Kira Nuttall.
Hyatt Mora Desmond O'Callaghan. Ella O'Flaherty. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the BSC Management Program, Terrell O'Kiria. <laughs> Oluwatu Mezin Oteni Bagbe. Rita Otto. Kanapat Ongpasu. Marina Pagaki Scaliora. Angelus Papanicolaou, Matt Parsons, Timur Ahmad Khan Pasha, <laughs> Anish Patel, Jay Patel, Kian Patel, Nikisha Patel, Sita Patel, Yusuf Patel, Christopher Payton, Olga Pollock, awarded the Buckingham Prize, Toby Pepperell. <laughs> Eve Payton, Elizabeth Phillip, Sarah Yu, Pillai, Bethan Powell, Gregory Poyser, Jan Pishi Bielowitz, Kamva Rafi, awarded the NHLI Prize for Outstanding Performance in Respiratory Sciences, Kishan Raguthi Zwaran. Amar Rahman, J. Kishan Kumar Nicholas Rajput, Hena Ramdani, Kalthaman Rangaraj, Stephanie Ransom, Asan Rashid, Fatima Rashid. Wishban Ravindra, Sophie Reap, Aditi Reddy, Ben Reed, Malka Rubin, Yanuk Rowe, Joshua Richardson, Florence Rogers, Joseph Rose, Daniel Saad, Alicia Sadwani, Zara Sadiq, Ilhan Saeed, Nathan Samuel, Gabrielle Sanders, Yutaro Sato, Vincenza Scanella, Khaled Shahadi, Rahu Sethi, Hassan Al Shah, Faiz Sheikh, Amrita Shanda Kumar, Priya Sharma, Shivani Sharma, Parminder Singh, Preet Singh, UCO, Francesca Isabella Siracusa, awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the BSC Management Program, Nirjithan Aaron Silva Palam. <laughs> Albie Smith, Awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Miles Smith. Tyrion Emma Smith. 
Anjali Sani, Nikhil Sood, awarded the Derek Johnson Leukemia Prize and the Stedman Prize, Sandra Sukramanian. Alina Sovetkina, James Spence, Shruti Srik Kumar, Janushant Sritharan, Isabella Stettler, Georgina Stuart Mullen, Sarah Suleiman Omram, Jeffrey Sun, Soon Lin, awarded the Agnes Koch Prize, Sharon Amanda Sutanto. <laughs> Patrick Sykes, Maya Szymanski, awarded the Society for Endocrinology Undergraduate Achievement Award, Gia Giatte. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the BSc Management Program, Sohini Thakur. <laughs> Ramzi Sagar Thamandra. Amy T. Emma Tonner. James Treadgold. Bethan Trigg. Numrutha Thrivedi. Yvonne Chichu, Raina Ulla, Piyush Varma, Adithaya Vijay, Thai Vegan Vimala Nathan, Yushao Alice Wang, Rebecca Ward. Katharina Sophia Weigel, James Weller, Chalukia Wijay Wardada, Amy Rosina Olive Wilkinson, Timothy Wu, Helen Woodward, <laughs> Helena Worthington. Jin Po Xiang, Fatima Yaqib, Su Min Yun, Nathan Young, Sadia Zaman, Cecilia Zana, Florence Zolman, Jordan Watson. Faraz Sharif, <coughs> Rahu Mehta, <laughs> Sramuthi Chaka, Hamdi Dahir. That concludes the Bachelors of Medicine graduates. Please join me in a round of applause to the graduates. Associates of Imperial College School of Medicine, Bachelors of Science. Nurini Ewani Binte Abdulaziz. Charlotte Akatatis. Fariha Alam. Geordie Bota Riera. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Management Performance on the Joint Honours Program and the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the Joint Honours Program, Berenika Bull. Angela Bunn, Joshua Card Gowers, Louis Kazuki Caton, Nantawat Chaitri Guntrong, Leon Chan, <laughs> Neelesh Chatterjee, Sing Kei Chu, 
Jonathan Chung, Amy Josephina Davilia, Nicholas Goransway, Daria Graminitska, Jeremy Guild, Callum Haggett, Gabrielle Harrow, David Hillman, Catherine Haller Williams, Hang Yi Yang, Mikhail Kamerski, Ju Kong Kyung Kim, awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the Joint Honours Programme, Tatiana Kachina, <laughs> Chen Shi Li, Emilia Lindquist, Xu Shong Li, Jennifer Lung, Suchaya Masahatanantan, Emily Main, Danelle Medipakova, M. Pravi Nadu, Robin Petonier, J. Raval, awarded the Malcolm Morris Memorial Prize, Veronica Zhigatova, <laughs> Joseph Staniforth, Georgina Stone, Michaela Svensson, Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the Joint Management Programme, Christina Teresa Maria de McTaylor. <laughs> Samuel Toe. Amelia Thornley. <laughs> Justin Shing Hei Chu. Yi Fan Wang. Christina Lok Ming Wong. Joanna Warmold. Hei Yang Ying. Alexander Yip, Jaibei Yu, Marco Yu. That concludes the Bachelors of Science graduates. Please join me in a round of award applause for the graduates. Bachelors of Medicine and Bachelors of Surgery. Awarded the Richard Hebb Prize in Haematology and the Wallace Prize, Dalia Abdul Hussein. <laughs> Michael Abu Abdullah. <laughs> Lydia Akwa. Samir Afsal. Rishi Agrawal. Hamim Hamad. Nadia Ahmed, Mumina Akhtar, Sami Faisal Karim Al Balasme, Zaid Al Haddad, Kasim Ali, Alicia Amin, Nima Amin. One Way Ang, <laughs> Philip Antonas, Madalena Adricino, Yasir Ashraf, Karen Aspi, Naoko Atsumi, Joseph Jacob Ayathamatan, Nafisa Badat. Catherine Barrett, Kayan Bashir, awarded the Butel Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, and the Gordon M. Holmes Prize in Medicine, Nadia Bednachuk. <laughs> awarded the Grant Blair Portfolio Prize, Gotham Binoy. Daniel Best. Padmanab Bhatt, Hassan Bilal, Alice Blome, Ruth Bloxham, 
Awarded the Cheadle Prize and the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Jacob Bradshaw. Hugo Brundle. Roa Burhan. Nicholas Burstow. Michael Bussell. Charlie Caird. Awarded the Frederick Bird Prize, Marta Casunovas Ortega. Akib Chowdhury. Abdullah Chima. Jingjie Cheng. Ling Him Cheng. Li Xian Chu. Ravi Chotaliya. <laughs> Jaffa Chowdhury. Mariam Chowdhury. Anna Chow. Jack Cope. Seth Cox. Awarded the Grant Blair Portfolio Prize, Catherine Crooks. <laughs> Alexander Curran. Patricia Stephanie Mino de Hinden. Sarah Dardak. Alex Davidson. Alicia de Silva. Nirali Desai, Priya Dillon, Matteo Di Carlo Felice, Shiluka Diaz, Emma Duffett, Natasha Dunhill Turner, Christian Eichhorn, Mohammed El Bansawi. Sam Ensor. Awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, Stephanie Ijoma Ezkwe. <laughs> Mohammed Falaha. Theo Farah. Dominic Fernandez. Hmm? Ara Faraj. Guy Fletcher, William Folkes, Chi Ho Fung. Awarded the Sir Arthur Ackland Prize for Humanities, Fred Files. <laughs> Awarded the Anthony de Rothschild Prize and the Glazer Prize in Surgery, Luke Gagan. <laughs> Natalie George. Lotta Gerard, Tatiana Gibbons, Tavlin Gill, Veshnavi Gananathan, Axel Goranson, Jagveer Singh Gruhl, Shboon Gupta, Andreas Haji Georgiou. Osama Hamid, Lamia Hamidovic, Louise Han, Ikram Huck, Isra Hassian, Robert Hill, <laughs> Katrina Hilliard, Genevieve Hirsch, Harry Hodgson. Leah Home Mercer, Rebecca Olivia Holubinka, Louise Houghton, Morgan Hughes, Shaivais Hussein, Megan Hutchinson, Sada Ijaz, Atif Ilyas. Joanna Ishmael, Kanishk Jain, Fejal Jani, Alexander Jalu, 
Shansi Alexandra Jen, Cameron Jenkins, Joshua Jewell, Hiral Jala, Liam Min Johnston, Rosalind Jones, Kate Weymouth Crocker Jordan. Awarded the Norman C. Lake Prize, Nikhil Joshi. Parkaran Kalkat. Rituja Campbell. Ashan Kandia. Kishan Karia. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize and Proxime Achasit to the Gold Medal, Khalid Karzi. Piriinga Kesavan, Rabit Khan, Akash Khanna, Shin Kitioka, Harry Knights, David Hendrick Coffling, Wu Sen Ko, Avi Coleman, Varun Kothari, Sanya Kumani, Jay Lakani, Emma Larson. Awarded the Edgar Lawley Prize, the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Gold Medal, the Norman C. Lake Prize, and the Victor Ladorum Llewellyn Prize, Alice Elizabeth Lee. Nicholas Lucas, Catherine Lumby, Michael Magarefefte, Indira Malik, Jade Mann, Selassie Manavanunan, Susan Manu, <laughs> Natasha Mwanyo Kalai, Thomas Martin, Nikhil Math, Marla Morkin, Henry Maynard, Shannon Mackay, awarded the Charing Cross and Westminster Medical School Alumnus Prize, Emma McLean. Sanya Medarita, Arjun Menon, Rahul Menon, Sean Mine, Rebecca Gayong Jung Mills, Nikita Ray Mitchell, Michael Monaghan, Camille Mukim, Ariel Geraint Francis Morris, Ben Moshi. Vishnu Murugavelu, Ranga Mulagema, Matthew Nayam, Amar Nanda, Sanjay Nath, awarded the British Pharmacological Society Prize, Oscar Newman. <laughs> Ahmed Noor. Opeo Luawe Oduyaye, Shannon O'Flynn, Nonye Akoli, Adeloha Olaloke, Temi Olena Sharkin, Jenny Olsen, Isabel O'Shea. Sarah Osenya awarded the Adam Snape Audit Prize, Alia Pargahatkar. <laughs> Ayishawari Pai, Kishne Panja, <laughs> Naveen Papachan, <laughs> Viraj Palmer. 
Arun Patel. Janil Patel. Nikita Patel. Smit Patel. Yusuf Patrick. Leon Hang Pei. Charles Penn. Jessica Pito. Awarded the T. Watts Eden Prize, Kapya Pillai. Charlotte Porter Hope. Arma Abdul Kayoum. Awarded the Humphrey Arthur Prize in Obstetrics and Gynecology, Jennifer Kwan. Oshik Raha. George Raja Sarkar. Shivajarchan Ramoja Mohan. Somrithi Rajan. India Reese. Grace Alexandra Hathazaba Richardson. Greenham Reyes. Ella Robertson. Charlotte Iona Russell. Ankita Sani. Ahmed Salahuddin. Sweena Sadathukaran Kumaran. Konstantinos Sava. Phoebe Scarfield. Anne Sebastian. Awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Golding Medal Prize, and the William Travers Prize, Ishani Seth. Sonika Sethi, Pooja Shah, Varsha Shaini, Baruch Sharma, Tom Shirin, Monica Sheeta, Nina Joyce Sheeta, Samiksha Shetty, John Simmons, Toby Sinclair, Prashanti Sivakumaran, Christopher Smith, Reese Smith, Rachel Snow, Ethelus Socrates, Adam Aziv Solomon, Vinye Songera, Chris Spence, Anita Shri. Thomas Stroud, Wen Ru Sun, Samuka Sundar, Ashwin Sundaram, Melanie Sue Haran, Alison Soiree, Tyrion Swart, William Tall, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Matthew Tan. Laura Tan, Wei Yian Tan, Chanil Tanner, Katerina Thomas Fernandez, Nithin Thopuram, Eleanor Tyndall, James Trull, Sandra Maria Totsi, Fred von Sommeren, Michael Vanner, Adam Walker, Sophie Woodhead, awarded the Baron Prize and the Faculty of Medicine Prize, Timothy Woodhead. <laughs> Aikum Kyam, Wakana Yasuda, awarded the Faculty of Medicine Prize, the Gordon M. Holmes Prize in Medicine and the Stevenson Prize, Aziz Younes. Sakura Zuberi. That concludes the Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery and Faculty of Medicine graduates. Please join me in a round of applause for the graduates.
now my great pleasure to announce the Outstanding Student Achievement Award to Ms. Aida Abdel Fahed and Ms. Noor Hubi. Ms. Aida Abdel Fahed and Ms. Noor Hubi were the winners of the Community Action Project, which requires third year medical students to create and run quality improvement projects over a 10 week general practice placement. From over 100 students, their idea implementation and dissemination stood out. The project explored the stigma of mental health amongst the Arab community and the lack of appropriate resources to help. Working together with local patients, they created an animation to provide an informative and inclusive resource that was culturally sensitive and language appropriate. This project has a number of wider implications for both medical education and service delivery. Both Ms. Abdel Wahad and Ms. Hubi have shown a commitment to helping marginalized patients and making a meaningful difference to their health and well-being. They are valuable role models for our staff and students alike in being genuinely collaborative and showing deep respect for patient diversity. They have also spoken about the project at numerous national events and conferences, representing the college extremely positively. I therefore invite you, President, to award Ms. Aida Abdel Wahed and Ms. Noor Hobi an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of their contribution to Imperial College London. Now for a second Outstanding Student Achievement Award, also for two students working together, namely Ms. Aisha Ahmad and Ms. Simon Thackeray. As co-chairs of Vision, Ms. Aisha Ahmad and Mr. Simon Thackeray work tirelessly to develop activities that support and encourage pupils from deprived and diverse backgrounds to pursue a career in medicine. Despite the very busy academic schedules faced by final year medical students, they've poured energy into organizing a range of conferences, workshops, roadshows, and mentoring schemes, all of, which, all of which have received excellent feedback from attendees. In addition to these ongoing commitments, Ms. Ahmad and Ms. Thackeray have take, Mr. Thackeray have taken the initiative to develop an entirely new program widening access to community careers in healthcare. Aimed at year 12 students who are interested in a range of healthcare careers, the program delivers work experience, admissions advice, and mentoring support. The pair demonstrate a commendable passion for promoting equality, diversity, and inclusion within the college. I therefore invite you, President, to award Ms. Aisha Ahmad and Mr. Simon Thackeray an Outstanding Student Achievement Award in recognition of their contribution to Imperial College London. There you are. It's now my pleasure to ask Mr. Martin Lupton to come forward for a President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. Would you please come stand here, Martin? As Vice Dean Education for the Faculty of Medicine, Mr. Martin Lupton leads all undergraduate and postgraduate education activity. He consistently puts students' engagement at the top of his agenda and displays a genuine passion for education. Alongside his administrative and leadership roles, Mr. Lupton continues to work as a joint lead clinical for the obstetric cardiac service and for the maternal medicine at Ch Chelsea and Westminster Hospital. Despite his busy agenda, he's always continued to teach actively. His clinic and his lectures are strongly in demand by Imperial students and he consistently receives excellent feedback. His inspirational final year speech has become legendary among Imperial medical students. Mr. Lupton's leadership extends far beyond Imperial. He's an important figure in education in London and a major presence on the medical school's council and other national bodies. 
He has also supported the school to become involved in global charities, such as Community Action Nepal, and he has accompanied Imperial students to meet Citizens UK to lobby against the rising costs of student housing. In all his communications, from lectures and presentations to feedback emails, Mr. Lepton uses personal anecdotes that inspire students to overcome challenges. His friendly nature and inherent warmth make him an integral part of the university's community. I therefore invite you, President, to award Mr. Martin Lepton a President's Medal in recognition of his outstanding contribution to teaching at Imperial College London. to ask Dr. Arthi Mani for would you please come stand here for another President's Medal for Outstanding Contribution to Teaching Excellence. Dr. Arthi Mani is an effective and gifted educational leader who oversees the day-to-day -day running of her team and all their courses while developing and implementing a blended coaching strategy across the entire medical school. Since joining the college, Dr. Mani has applied her skills, experience and vision generously informing how medical education is underpinned by the principles of social accountability and instilling a new way that students, educators and clinicians hold conversations with each other. She's a senior level coach, a practicing clinician and she holds a master's degree in medical education. She's able to apply each of her roles in educational design, delivery and research seamlessly and under a scrupulously ethical framework. Dr. Mani is considered by her colleagues to be an inspiration and an asset to the college. In addition to her contribution to medical education at Imperial, she's made a lasting impression on those she teaches. Her commitment to empowering medical students and improving medical education is admirable and merits recognition. I therefore invite you, President, to award Dr. Arti Mani a President's Medal in recognition of her outstanding contribution to teaching at Imperial College London. of the Imperial College Medal to Professor James Best. As a distinguished medical leader with more than 30 years experience in research and teaching, Professor James Best is a major asset to the college as Dean of the Lee Kong Chang School of Medicine, our joint venture with Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. Professor Best has dedicated his entire career to improving treatments for patients with diabetes and diabetic kidney disease. He's a world-renowned endocrinologist with more than 200 publications to his name. His many achievements include fellowships of the Royal Australasian College of Physicians, the Royal College of Pathologists, and the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh. He serves on the board of the National Healthcare Group and the National Medical Research Council in Singapore, and the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation in Australia. Professor Best joined the Li Kong Chang School of Medicine in 2014 from the University of Melbourne in Australia, where he was head of the medical school, bringing his wide-ranging expertise and achievements as an inspirational teacher, researcher, clinician, and medical leader. He's made a huge impact over the past five years. He's been at the forefront of leading a most ambitious program in interdisciplinary research and highly innovative teaching. We've seen the school thrive under his direction and it serves Singapore's future well through delivering the highest quality medical education and research. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Professor James Best an Imperial College Medal in recognition of his exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College.
presentation of the Imperial College Medal to Ms. Tracy Halsey. Ms. Tracy Halsey has provided more than 30 years of exceptional service to the college's early years education center, a vital element of our campus services. From a pragmatic approach to government, uh, governance and legislative compliance through the imaginative creation of new activities, Ms. Halsey has shown unwavering commitment to her work. She has expertly overseen the development of the center with a resourcefulness that allowed more places to be made consistently available. She has simultaneously developed practical and inventive initiatives such as extended hours, a swimming club, the opening of a sensory room and a center library. Her latest innovation is Science Month, which engages parents and children together in group experiments, creating tomorrow's imperial scientists and researchers. Ms. Halsey always prioritizes the children who attend the center and provides tireless support to the imperial families that require safe and secure childcare. One only has to read the numerous letters and cards addressed personally to Ms. Halsey and her team to understand the extraordinary positive impact that her work has made on parents and children alike. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Ms. Tracy Halsey an Imperial College Medal in recognition of her exceptional contribution to the life and work of Imperial College London. President, members of court and council, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. When I was appointed chair of council, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. So although it was over 40 years ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other place on this stage. I've stood here as a graduating student, as you graduates have today, with your family proudly sitting in the audience, just as mine was back then. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but by whatever measure you go, Imperial is a very special place. The Times Higher Education Rankings puts us as third highest in Europe, and we are consistently in the top 10 in the world. Only around 6% of the world's population has a degree at all, let alone from a top university. So always remember how special you are. Today is not the end of your journeys, but actually the beginning of new chapters. There'll be many opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility to bring these proceedings to a close, but before doing so, I'd like to thank some of those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to name any of them individually, please could you join me in thanking all of those who've worked behind the scenes so hard to plan and organize the ceremony. Thank you. Secondly, I'd like you to join me in thanking Oliver Gooch and Colin Durrant and the wonderful musicians and choir who have performed for us that ceremony. Thank you. Now, of course, it's, it's your day, it's your achievement, but sitting behind me is a colourful array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many other professors, lecturers, technicians and support staff, all of whom have helped you one way and another along the way. So I'd ask you to thank not only your professors, but all the rest of the staff of Imperial who've helped you through your journey. But today, today is about you, our graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes an Imperial such an exciting and vibrant place. So we all want to thank you graduates and celebrate your achievement. And although this is the end of the ceremony, it's not farewell. You are now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni. We will be here for you, and we'll be pleased to help you as you go on to have stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point in the future, we may well turn to you to ask for help too. We're proud of what you've achieved, and we'll be proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it seems to me, I think it's the formality of this place. The applause has been rather polite. 
and I know the medics have a reputation for being the noisiest of all the students. So what I would like is for you graduates to finally thank your most important supporters, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, children and friends who've been there when you needed them. So please stand, face your fan clubs and thank them.